Hey, chicken fried fish here. I um, decided to get into hydroponic gardening because I found a, uh, a water pump in my garage that didn't know what I was going to do with. So I uh, kind of looked into hydroponic gardening and didn't want to throw the pump away. And this is where I ended up. Um, I am by no means a YouTube video expert, nor am I a hydroponic garden expert person. Uh, did watch a lot of YouTube videos, did some reading, can't claim I did a whole bunch, but figured this is something that I could do, so what I did was um, created my own little hydroponic garden. Didn't know which kind of uh, system I wanted to do, so I kind of created my own little modified floating raft NFT drip system. Um, the drip system on the top is a 3 inch PVC. Um, I use two inch net pots all the way around, inclu including on the uh, the bottom. I do have a uh, a water pump that's on the bottom of this reservoir. This reservoir is approximately 60 to 65 gallons. Um, basically, all I did was I bought a large piece of plywood, cut it in half, bought some uh, two by fours, placed them around. put a 2x4 uh, here and set one up on cross here to create a lip and I actually have it sitting on top of a, uh, a pallet. I created that lip so that way it could actually hold the PVC on top and it could actually hold the uh, half inch foam on the top. The uh, two inch net pots that I have on the bottom of the raft here, I've got some uh, butter crunch lettuce that I uh, propagated in some rock wool and on top I got some uh, clay pellets. I don't think I really need the clay pellets but I just kind of put it on there to help the uh, the seedlings grow straight up. I got a uh, half inch irrigation tube system that comes up from the pump on the bottom of the reservoir and circles the PVC all the way around and I've got it crimped off at the end over here. Both of the PVCs are uh, capped off, so it kind of creates a nutrient film on the bottom, and then it drips on the top. So what it does, it comes up from the reservoir, goes around, drips into the half-inch drip system, or into the uh, PVC, goes back down, and then drains back into the reservoir on the bottom right there. I do have some air stones on the bottom. There's my air pump right there. I got two large air stones on the bottom of this uh, reservoir right here. And because uh, I live here in South Texas, winters are kind of mild. Temperatures have been anywhere from like 39, 49, 50s. But uh, because this is January and I decided to do this during this month, I created a little greenhouse cover made out of half inch PVC. So I can just take that, lift it up, and set it right over the whole system. And it sits right on top of the ledge. Uh, nutrient solution on the bottom. I'm uh, basically using a 41838 micronutrient blend. Uh, Epsom salt and calcium nitrate. So for the uh, calcium nitrate and the 41838, I'm using approximately 10 grams and 5 grams of the Epsom salt per 5 gallon bucket. Um, like I said, this is my first hydroponic garden. I uh, figured I'd just make a video, see what happens. Any comments, questions, anything that you can think that maybe can improve my system, I'd like to hear from you. All right.